This is Jake from PokerDatamine.net and today I'm going to show you how to datamine on the iPoker network. To datamine on iPoker we'll be using the iPoker hand grabber. If you don't have this already you can get it by going to my website at www.pokerdatamine.net slash datamine dash iPoker. So before we get started it's very important that you do not have um, any iPoker rooms on the iPoker network open. Um, because you will have to start the iPoker hand grabber first, so I'll go ahead and do this now. As you can see, the iPoker hand grabber is a very simple and easy to use program. It basically consists of three basic. Uh, you have three um, configuration options here. Um, the first one down here at the bottom is where the hand histories will be saved. By default, it's set to the C drive in the program files folder and inside that it's iPoker hand grabber and inside that it's hand history and personally I'm perfectly fine with them being saved there but if you want to change them, change that, you can click on browse here and select a different folder and right above that you have a little checkbox where you can choose whether or not you want to have uh, hand history saved if, you, if it looks like this it won't save any hand histories and if it looks like this or it's checked it will save hand histories so you should just leave it like this and up here we have um, a drop down menu where you can select the poker room you're going to use to data mine I have selected Titan Poker because this is just the site I happen to do, uh, have installed and I'm gonna click launch site and as you can see the program are being launched by the iPoker hand grabber here and it's just it doesn't make any changes or anything like that um, it just uh, launches the poker client regularly but make sure that you can actually to mine and you may also notice that the, the iPoker hand grabber window it uh, disappears it's because it's automatically been minimized and if you look at the lower right corner here of the screen you can see there's a little pickaxe icon if you double click that and click here you will see that uh, the iPoker hand grab window uh, reappears I'll just put it over here and now I'll find some tables that I want to data mine I think I'll select uh, 2 4 no limit heads up tables today and I'll just open a couple of random tables like this and let's see where do we have the iPoker hand here we go and here you can see the iPoker hand grabber in the lower left corner you can see that it says saved one hands this uh, the number it will count up as it saved as it's saving hand histories when you're data mining now you can see it says two and I will just um, I'll pause the video for a bit and then I'll collect um, around 50 hand histories and then I'll start it again I'm back and as you can see 50 hand, has, hand histories has been saved so I will stop data mining but before I do that I'll just uh, make sure to note down one of the um, the player names which we're seeing on the table so I can look him up, look him up later and check that the hand histories are working as they should and I will select R matey here so I will stop the hand grabber by simply closing it down I'm selecting yes I would like to close it and I'm also going to shut down Titan Poker yes, so. and now I will go to Holo Manager which I have already opened and I will go find the hand histories I have just data mined and as I mentioned earlier, they're looking at the C drive, program files, iPoker hand grabber, hint history. And as you can see here, there are two hint, two hint history files. And probably because um, some of the heads up tables I were data mining, they may have been sitting out. I not, I didn't really notice that. And I've selected them and chosen open. And now Holo Manager has imported the hint histories. You can see that in the left corner here it says 56 hands imported and now I'll go and try to see if I can find our matey um, I'll go to cast games and uh, just for the record here uh, Supreme Kai it's not me and it's just a random player that I 
um, looked up when I were practicing making the video. So it was R. R matey here. And you can see we have 27 hands in him. So I'll just go into the hands tab and hope, yep, yeah, here we go. We have some hands he's, he has played. And I'll just open one so you can see that everything is as it should be. So we can see here that um, if you have um, used other eye poker hand grabbers, you may notice that they, um, or to be more, more specific, if you have been buying hand histories from eye poker, you may have noticed that some of them um, they don't have the correct stack sizes for the players. You can see here that eye poker hand grabber has the correct stack sizes, and as far as I know, it's currently um, the only way you can get the correct. Um, stack sizes on the players is by using iPoker hand grabber, um, but I assume that there will be um, that the people who are selling hand histories they will like correct their uh, the way they are gathering them and soon be able to supply the same things. But um, I just figured out mentioned this, and as you can see, there's a complete hand history and the replay works, and we can see all the action. So. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you would like to know more about data mining, you can go or download uh, a free trial of um, iPoker Hand Grab which I used in this video. You can get it at, by going to our website at www.pokerdatamining.net slash datamine-ipoker.